Creating Earthlings, my name is Steel5000 and I welcome you once again to Loving the Alien. Last episode got a little racy with the men under the hood, Mota. Tonight I'm excited to be here in Madrid with a young, hyper-productive artist who's not afraid to push the envelope. I live forever. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Karimani, also known as Remute Remute. Re You began producing music at the young age of 13, correct? That's right. I started as a, in my earliest teen age to start to make music. And yeah, while other kids were playing football, I was sitting in front of my computer and making tunes. What kind of music were you making back then? When I started, it was very experimental, like more breakbeat and uh, more like ethic twin stuff. I tried to copy FX Twin when I was a teen, but obviously it was bad. Yeah. So out of this, I started to develop a own style and more fall to the floor. Yeah, and the rest is history. Could you go over that history for the viewers at home? I started with Remute in 2002, when I put my first record out on Zombie Nation's label Decathlon. And uh, actually this was the birth of Remute. Yeah. Please, describe your sound at that time. It was very um, 80s inspired, like, very big trash appeal, a bit, some video game sounds, but of course it was very far to the floor. Since then you've shown no fear approaching other music styles. How's that working out for you? Sometimes it's quite a lot of work, but it's fun. What do you take with you for your live sets? I take, of course, a MacBook Pro and besides that I have some other things like the Korg ES1, which I really love. It's a, it's a sampler, a very limited sampler from Korg. It has, I think, only four megabytes of sampling RAM and um, it's a very funny machine because it forces you to do some some powerful minimal stuff and uh, it's a good thing for playing live, yeah. Last time I saw you play live I noticed your iPhone with you on stage. Were you checking your messages? No. It's just an app for the for the iPhone or for the for the iPod touch and um, it's kind of emulation of the sound chip which was uh, working with the Nintendo Entertainment System, you know, the, the old 80s one, and um, makes FM-like sounds and uh, it's very crunchy, very cheap, but I love it. Do you only do live sets under the name of Remute? Sometimes the player is the Bagman. How does the Bagman sound differ from Remute? More weird and uh, it's more jazzy. I like to improvise with my guitar and I like to do the jazz dance. Have you and Dennis ever played together? Sometimes we do some live sets together, but um, it's a bit difficult with him. He's a very, it's like, he's a diva. I, I don't want to play with him anymore, but we are bound to some contract. When will the contract end? A couple of years. Ooh. But it doesn't matter to me, I, I live forever, then it's not. Tell me about your creative process in the studio. Actually when I start to make music it's, it's like it's the same like a live show in a club. I put on the machines, put on the computer and then um, play around with the sequence or program a pattern or twist some knobs here and there and out of this process some tracks can happen or not. It's like I'm playing live in my studio on a daily basis. That's all. I like to work with my guitar. I make a lot of sounds with it. Also some percussion sounds and pad sounds. But I also like the Roland 909. I think Dennis likes it too. But we can share for now. But I don't know how long. What's the first word that comes to your mind when you think of Dennis Karimani? Money earn machine. 
What's your relationship status with him? He's a nice guy to work with, but I'm not friend with him. We are professionals, you know? Is it easy working together? Yeah, sometimes it's a bit stressy. We have a lot of fights because we are very different. But, uh, but somehow we are bound to each other and uh, we are the money earn machine. What other genres of music are you exploring today? Recently I tried to make some, some more Indian stuff, which I sometimes put on my album as the last two track or last track. And uh, my last album had some ambient bits. And uh, yeah, I'm doing this in the midnight hour. Greetings, Earthlings. Steel 5000 here. And this is my husband. Together, we are Loud Neighbor. And we are proud to announce our first release, New Hope, New Hope. with remixes by our aliens Remute and Joseph Capriati. Yeah. Exclusively on Beatport. Yes, I was a f uh, professional guitar player. I uh, played one gig with Iron Maiden, but um, they didn't pay me enough, so I left. What type of music do you like to listen to in your home? I love to listen to jazz and have some red wine. It's yeah. like heaven for me. Tell me about your video work. Yeah, I'm also a director and uh, they're very cheap, but put all my energy into it and uh, I like it surreal and... There. That's my life. Bouncing a ball in the corner. Makes sense to me. That's what I'm born for. Are you dressed for success? Yes. Every day? Absolutely. What's your secret? My tie. Please, tell me about your dressed for success photo series. What photo series? I didn't see the photos. These photos. That's not my idea. That's Dennis' idea. These are pictures that are showing a deeper sense of uh, getting dressed for success. It's a state of mind, so that's all I'm saying about it. Are you planning on starting your own clothing line? Who knows? Why the choice of windings for your cover art of the EP, Dressed for Success? It's our idea. And... So I write my letters in Wingdings. It's my favorite font. For those of you who don't know, Wingdings is a kooky font that replaces letters and numbers for a variety of symbols. They're gonna write a book in Wingdings. It's an erotic um, novel. Ooh, a hot Wingdinger. Absolutely. Can we look forward to an upcoming album? Yeah, right now I'm concentrating on single releases like every two months some new stuff but I also have a new album lined up it will be a very special concept can't tell you more about that but uh, it's a concept album Have you tried paella? No What did you have for dinner tonight? Human flesh Medium or rare? Bloody Have you considered eating Dennis? I love red wine just answer the question. Yeah. With what condiments? Um, maybe with chili. Do you like ketchup? Yes. Would you use it on Dennis? No. Dennis only calls for chili. Exactly. That must be good. Yes. Can you speak Spanish? Si. That's all. No. Touche. To round out this interview, let's talk about the Remute future. Yeah, I have a very special project coming up with um, the Austrian singer Louis Austin, maybe you know him. He made some tracks like Hoping on uh, Kitty O back in the day. So he's so, um, so a very good singer, maybe a little bit like the Frank Sinatra of Electro. And uh, he's uh, an older man, 65. And um, he's an awesome singer. 
And um, we made a track together with German vocals and um, it's called Der Gute Mensch. Der Gute Mensch. It means like um, the good human. And this is something special. It's like uh, it's like dirty Chicago house with a, the preacher man, but the preacher man isn't from Chicago, he's from Vienna. Thank you, Dennis, for being here tonight. Thanks. Getting to better know Remute has been interesting, to say the least. I don't have a name. Whatever. <laughs> Next episode. Purple rain, purple rain. <laughs> My name is Steel5000 and this was Loving the Alien.